How you guys doing? Hey, I'm a hybrid coming at you um, with a couple of updates. Uh, unfortunately, I won't be able to do any feedings or anything today because I just recently uh, bought me some crickets. And as we all know, got to gut load those things for a little bit before uh, I go feeding them to my spiders and scorpions and so forth. So that way that uh, they suck up some nutrients and uh, we'll be able to be nutrientized for our critters. That way they'll be able to take all those nutrients. I need to do some watering today. Don't mind the uh, backgrounds here. Try to do this stuff one-handed. Oh, there we go. I gotta... Woo! This is really hard to do one-handed. Get the water going. There we go. Now, don't worry, I live somewhere where there's well water, so I don't have to worry about iron and stuff in the water. I'll go ahead and let that warm up a bit. Doop -doop 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 -doop. But, uh, anyways, doing some stuff. Went ahead and set a few things up. I'll show you guys here in a minute. This is kind of like I said, this is going to be kind of like an update video. There we go. Let's go ahead and put that in there. Come on, quit. This thing keeps messing around with my autofocus. Put some water in the cup. There we go. Let's see. Hydro. Turn that off. But anyways, <laughs> I was digging around in here earlier, and I noticed that uh, I have a bit of a communal setup going. And I mean that in all good humor. But uh, this is my Emperor Scorpion's tank. And if we come down here to my Asian Forest Scorpion tank, pay special attention to what's in this log. Now if you go down there, I don't know if you can see that or not. Look at that. Look at this cheeky little cheeky little sucker. Making a home for himself in my scorpion's tank. Look at this. Look at this guy. Who does he think he is? Who does he think he is? Just 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 come in and just set up shop? I mean, how did he even get in there? Why would he even get in there? <laughs> it's probably eating my isopods, a cheeky little turd. But eh, look down there. Yeah, there he is. You just kind of see him down there. Got to do some... You guys don't be making no perverted jokes about this, neither. <laughs> Got to give them some... Oh, I'm sorry. My finger's on the... There we go. Time to do the misting. I'm going to get them all nice and, uh, nice and moist. Let's get them nice and moist. Moisture. They love moisture. Yep. Don't mind me, I'm in a basket case. I'm just gonna do some of this. Just spray that round. Spray that round. Spray it in there. Yeah, just spray that around. Nice and wet. That's what they like. Nice and wet. Moist. Nice and moist. Spray that. Oh, i do it from the ends here. Bring the rain. Spray some from this end. Oh, I'll move down here. Spray some from this end. It's all nice and wet there. Look at that. Right down there. Alright, there. There's Tim. 
It's Tiny Tim. I don't know what he's doing. You're not fooling nobody, Tim. We can see you. Just want a fat little scorpion right there. It's good and fat. Didn't really realize. <laughs> I just kind of kept feeding him. And, uh, well, he kind of just kept growing. Let's open this up a little bit here. There we go. Get that nice and wet. Same thing up here. Get that nice and wet back there. Oh, nice and wet. There you go. And there it is. There we go. Now they're all nice and stuff. Oh, there we go. I made these a really tight fit. Just gotta press them into place. It does a really good job of keeping all that humidity in there so they stay nice and happy. If anyone keeps scorpions, I would almost recommend that you uh, get some, oh, but maybe cut it better than get some plexi and do this yourselves, but maybe cut them a little better than I did. Just a temporary kind of thing at the moment, and I'm knocking stuff all over the place. There we go. Good and sealed. Yeah, just drop something down there really well. Here's my non do. There's what he's been doing. He's all but buried his water dish here. There he goes. He's gonna go run and hide. He's got a little subterranean layer that he's built down here. Really wish he'd stop digging out. You got plenty in there, bud. He's excavating away, and he's all but, uh, you see his water dish was down here at some point, but um, it's it's gone. Kind of see a little bit of it right there. <laughs> There's a Metallica pink toe. May I give you some water? Oof. Here's that molt that I was talking about that my uh, Honduran curly hair left behind. Real nice molt. I'm going to do something with all these. That's why I save them. I got uh, a piece of foam here that I'm going to mount all these to. This is the Tiki. The Tiki has sealed herself away in this burrow here. And I'm thinking any day now she's going to start pre-molting or start molting. So I'm hoping to catch that on maybe a time lapse or something. Oh look. Pokey's out. Okay. There's my Pusillotheria regalis, just hanging out there. My King Baboon. He's made a nice little. He's made two windows now, so I don't have to move him around to check on him. I just look at through this hole. I'll take a look at him. Ah, that's my Versi. Went ahead and relocated this one up here. My Versi. My uh, pet hole Sun Tiger. There we go. Beautiful colors on that one. And this is my Honduran curly hair, which is, you just kind of see a leg back there. Kind of, sort of. Right here. She hasn't really come out. She just kind of stays in that hide there. It's the Bohemi. This might interest some of you guys. I actually have one of these. It's like my biggest pet hole ever. It's my Tanzanian tailless whip scorpion. I'm really surprised that she's down there right now. She's usually up behind this cork bark here. That's the Damon variegatus, or variegatus, however the heck you pronounce that. There's Zephora over there in the corner, just chilling on the glass. I just found out this one is a male 
Ugh. And you're going to ask how I know it's a male. It happened to be out last night, and I was able to actually get it to, like, open up. And inside of its one of its front legs, I saw tibial hooks. And I was like, oof, darn it. Oh, well. These crickets, they're all in hiding. So, I mean, I have two males now. I have a Lassidora Parabona, which is down here. It's a mature male. I've been making sperm webs like crazy. I need to find him a mate, and uh, I'll be having to try to find someone to mate this guy with. So I don't go to waste. That's it. Just wanted to do a little bit of update, and I did take uh, some guys. Some of you guys posted in my last video. I took some advice and went ahead and uh, I'm trying to do this at the, the 16 by 9, the wider aspect. Fold my phone sideways, um, so that way you guys don't have to watch it in uh, that weird setup. But that'll be all for now. Catch you guys later.